Hey guys, I'm Destiny, and I'm going to be showing you my horror collection, which is basically my whole room. Um, I've been watching it since I was like six years old. I love it. Every day I watch it. I even attend horror conventions um, as much as I can. But yeah, hope you enjoy. Um, here it is. Um, I have a Rob Zombie poster, a Lord of Salem poster, Creature from the Black Lagoon thing to hang my necklaces on. I even have um, them on my necklaces. Pinhead, Leatherface, Jason. Focus that in for you. Um, total skull necklace because Rob Zombie's wife is amazing. Right there. Um, even my book bag has horror stuff on it. Jason, Freddy, Ouija board, Michael. Danielle down there, my favorite scream queen. Lord of Salem bracelet. Uh, we have a Rob Zombie fabric flag type thing pretty rad. Um, we have the Devil's Rejects up there, mug shots and magnets. And then I have Rob Zombie over there directing House of a Thousand Corpses. Um, Robert England, that was Freddy Krueger, Elm Street sign. And there's Rob directing Devil's Rejects and the Firefly family above him. And then I have some horror movie quotes that I've printed out, my favorites. You can see that one. We have a Rob Zombie, it's not really a poster, it came out of one of my CDs I have of his. We have Danny Trejo, because he's a badass, need him. And I have a Devil's Rejects poster, it's pretty badass. And then here is my altar, I guess you could say. Um, has some incense, candles, um, yep, have a pretty cool dagger necklace there. Um, and then here's some of my horror action figures. I have Freddy Krueger, Jason Voorhees, Michael Myers from Rob Zombie's Halloween, and Leatherface from the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And then up there I have a Rob Zombie tour poster. I've seen him in concert, um, like, uh, three times, I think. He's amazing. If you ever have the chance, fucking see him because it's totally worth it. Okay, I'm gonna jump up here. And I'll show you some of my autographs. As I told you in the beginning, I attend horror conventions. I met Camille Keaton from I Spit on Your Grave, the original. A Night of the Living Dead autograph. And I met PJ Souls from the original Halloween as Linda. I met Heather Langenkamp and Amanda Wiss from the original Nightmare on Elm Street, Tina and Nancy. I also got them to sign a poster. And I asked Heather to write Screw Your Past because that's one of my favorite quotes she has. I have a Saw poster. And I actually bought a piece of barbed wire from Jeepers Creepers 2. Um, hold on, I lost my train of thought. Uh, in the part where they're running into the field to get away from the creeper and they jump over the barbed wire, that's actually a piece of barbed wire that was um, used in the film. And I have a certificate of authenticity to go with it. Um... We have Bill and Jen Jostin from House of a Thousand Corpses, a cutout I printed off my laptop. I have a Scream 4 poster, New Decade, New Rules. Here's some more horror action figures. I have the Professor from House of a Thousand Corpses, Baby, Captain Spaulding, Otis. If you haven't noticed by now, Rob Zombie is my favorite director and singer. So I collect all this shit. Um, we have Leatherface down here from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre remake. Pretty gory and awesome. I have a Grim Reaper here that I got at Kings Island in Ohio, an amusement park. And I have Heidi Hawthorne from Rob Zombie's newest film, The Lords of Salem. It was actually a regular Barbie doll I took from my little sister and I made this. I painted the face and made the sweater and the shorts and everything. It's pretty cool. I even made the um, Lord's box to go with it and a thing for her to stand on. I have a Jamie Lloyd mask I made. It's not the best, but it's pretty rad. I like it. That's um, Daniel Harris in Halloween 4 and 5. And I have a Freddy bust type thing here. I've had this ever since I was like 8 or 9. He used to talk, but um, I left the batteries in there and it got all corroded. And he really he doesn't work anymore. So. so I've had it since I was little. I'm 16 now, so I've had him for a long time. I remember whenever I first got him, I was actually afraid to touch his face because he felt so real. Yeah. Okay, um, I got a 
Friday the 13th replica mask. I'm going to get Kane Hodder to sign when I meet him again in March at Horror Hound Weekend. Um, have some Chucky dolls. I remember having these ever since I was little too. I actually have a picture with me sitting crisscross applesauce with um, a pink Scooby-Doo hat on and I have Chucky in my lap. I wish I could show you that picture, but I don't know where it's at. So I have Chucky and Tiffany. I have a Devil's Rejects drawing I did. have Daniel Harris again. We'll move over here. I have a Pinhead and a Captain Spaulding bobbleheads. I actually got Sid Haig to sign that. I wish I would have got him to sign it on this, but it didn't happen. I'm actually going to meet Doug Bradley again in um, March, too, and I'm thinking about getting him to sign this on the plastic. I um, have the Lord of Salem novel. If you have not read it, I highly, highly recommend it. It is amazing and crazy and just so mesmerizing, and that's coming from somebody that does not like reading, so it's a lot. Has some Family Guy action figures, not horror related, but I love Family Guy. And I, there's actually an autograph I have back here from Rob himself. I won it whenever I pre-ordered his um, Lords of Salem novel, and um, you're supposed to stick it inside the cover of the Lords of Salem novel, but Rob Zombie touched that, so it's definitely getting framed. It's not getting stuck inside the cover of a book. have a pumpkin down here with a Rob Zombie hat on and a total skull mask. have another drawing I did of some of my favorite horror characters. And yes, I know I spelled Thomas wrong. I don't feel like changing it. Um, more Family Guy stuff. And down here I actually have some horror magazines. I have El Super Bisto, an animated movie that Rob Zombie did. It's pretty cool. Yeah, a lot of naked chicks, but it drops zombies. So what do you expect? <laughs> Drop that. Have um, Leatherface. Rob. Had to buy that for obvious reasons. Rob and Marilyn Manson. Evil Dead remake. House of a Thousand Corpses and Devil's Rejects Fangoria. I actually ordered those off of Amazon. Because whenever House of a Thousand Corpses came out in 2003, I was like 7. So, obviously, didn't buy that whenever it came out. Um, have a Halloween 5 poster, The Revenge of Michael Myers, a Psychedelic Skull poster, have a Your Next poster, Evil Dead remake poster, Hill Survives remake poster, over here, we have the uh, Devil's Rejects again, a Rob Zombie CD thing that came out of his Hellbilly Deluxe 2 CD, we have a Devil's Rejects cast picture, I printed that off my um, computer. I liked it, so. Total Skull again. A Danielle Harris collage I made. As I said, she's my favorite Scream Queen, and I love her so much. Um, Rob Zombie sticker, House of Wax, and Blood Knight um, DVD inserts. Lords of Salem poster, Carrie remake poster. Turn this down so you guys can hear me. Um, a House of a Thousand Corpses poster. It's actually one of my favorite posters in my room. Evil Dead poster, the original Evil Dead. A Mars Needs Women poster from Rob Zombie's song, has Sherry on it. Um, Chop Top and Otis, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 and House of a Thousand Corpses. Then we have some more Firefly family up there. Some old horror movie posters. Then a Charmed poster, because that's one of my favorite TV shows. Um, I'll show you guys my autograph wall. I actually had to expand it to over there because I ran out of room, but... Here's where I started off. I met the cast from Holliston. If you haven't seen it, it's a horror type TV show by Adam Green. Um, I met John Carpenter, director of Christine, The Fog, Halloween, etc. I met Tamara Glenn from Halloween 5. I met John Dugan, um, grandpa from the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I met Jen Jostin. She was um, Mary in Rob Zombie's House of a Thousand Corpses. I met Bill Mosley himself. He is amazing, such a sweet guy. And he's pretty good looking. One of my favorite guys I've met. And Jen Jawson was really nice too. She was so cool to meet. Um, I met Walter Phelan, Dr. Satan from House of a Thousand Corpses. I met Tawny Moyer, the nurse in Halloween 2. Nurse Jill. I met Tony Todd, Candyman. I met Lou Temple. Um, he was Adam Banjo in Devil's Rejects. And he also had a role in Rob Zombie's Halloween. I met Kane Hodder. 
Got a Victor Crowley autograph there from the Hatchet series and a Jason autograph. Whenever I met him, I actually couldn't decide whether to get a Victor Crowley or Jason autograph, and he gave me one for free, so he's a pretty cool dude for doing that. Um, here's my cast signed House of a Thousand Corpses picture. They had a House of a Thousand Corpses 10th anniversary reunion at Horror Hound Weekend last March. I got to meet most of the cast. I met Sid, 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 Sid um, Hegg, Captain Spaulding, Bill Mosley, um, Erwin Keyes, um, Walter Phelan, Robert Mukes, and Jen Jostin. And I met R.A., I don't know, really don't know how to pronounce his last name, Mill Haloff. He was Leatherface in um, Texas Chainsaw 3, and he was also in Hatchet 2. I met Doug Bradley, Hellraiser, Ken Foree from Devil's Rejects, and he was also in the original Dawn of the Dead. And he, there's my Sid Haig autographs. I love that he wrote Tootie Fucking Fruity on that one. And I obviously saved the best for last. Um, last, Mar last March, I met Danielle Harris. My favorite scream queen and actress of all time. She was the nicest, most amazing person I've ever met in my whole entire life. And I'm not just saying that because I love her. She literally was. I don't even remember what I said to her because I was so mesmerized by just meeting my idol. It was, I was so on cloud nine when I met her. It was ridiculous. Here's more autographs. I got the Halloween 2 poster signed by her. She was Annie in Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. And I, got, and I brought this one for her to sign. And here's a picture of me and Danielle. A lot of people say we look alike, but I don't know. I, I, I guess I really don't see it, but you guys can, um, you know, say if we do or not. I don't know. But yeah, she's a really, really nice person. If you ever have the chance to meet her, do not pass it up. Have some more stuff up here. Just random stuff. Not really anything important. Um, Carrie... Um, Jason, Michael, Rob Zombie, I have a Rob Zombie voodoo doll, um, Skull. So I have to speed it up, guys, because this video can only be 15 minutes long for YouTube. Um, Motley Crue Cups, I've seen Motley Crue and Kiss Live, Pumpkin. Um, me and my grandma at Mayhem Festival, she takes me to all my Rob Zombie concerts. I got a Sherry Moon Zombie autograph that a guy gave me. Um, he met her backstage and he let it go free to good home. I got a picture of the first time I saw Rob Zombie. And here is the horror movies. Everything I love. They're my life. I've been watching them since I was six years old. My first horror movie was actually Nightmare on Elm Street. I saw it when I was six, and I used to watch it over and over again on VHS in my room. And my first horror movie in theaters was actually Freddy vs. Jason. I was seven, I think, and I fucking loved it. More movies. Lords of Salem, amazing. Some of my Blu-rays. I actually just started watching American Horror Story. It's pretty rad. My friend let me borrow the first season. I have all my Daniel Harris movies in one spot, so I can watch them easily. If you haven't seen her um, movie she directed, Among Friends, watch it, because it's amazing. Um, I actually ordered the Halloween box set from Fright Rags. It's pretty cool. It actually came with that poster, too. And I have one of my most prized horror possessions, my Devil's Rejects, a director's script by Rob Zombie. And I have it signed by most of the cast, because I've met them at my horror conventions. I have it signed by Bill Mosley, Ken Foree, Sid Haig, Lou Temple, and PJ Souls. What's that about clown business? And the book came signed by Rob Zombie. And this is basically what it is. You can pause that to read it if you want to. It's a really, really rad book. It's basically his personal um, script all in a book together with behind the scenes photos. And um, here's my clause signed by Heather Langenkamp, my official Freddy Krueger clause. And there's me and Heather. She's wearing them, which is so fucking awesome. Creature from the Black Lagoon action figure um, from Rob Zombie's Halloween, the mask that Dag wore in the beginning. The clown mask. Rob Zombie um, mask. Scream mask. I actually had that since I was little, too. Total skull hat. And I have some posters on the top. Rob Zombie. Hurry up and show you this real quick. I have, um, you know, in Rob Zombie's Halloween, the... Um, jacket that Scout wore in the breakfast scene, the Total Skull jacket. Anyway, I have about 30 seconds, so thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. You can follow me on Instagram at livingdeadgirl-97. I hope you enjoyed, and keep watching horror movies.